What happens when you give thousands of users access to Elon Musk's latest AI model and ask them to be completely honest about it? Well, the results might surprise you. Some features are being called game-changing breakthroughs, while others are getting absolutely roasted by the community. Today, we're diving deep into the unfiltered feedback from real Grok4 users who've been putting this AI through its paces. Welcome back to bitbias.ai, where we cut through the marketing hype to bring you the real story behind AI developments. Today, we're exploring the raw, unfiltered feedback from early Grok4 adopters who've been testing every feature since its July 9th release. Here's what makes this fascinating. Unlike typical AI launches, Grok4 has generated a massive wave of independent user testing across Hacker News, Reddit, and major tech publications. We're talking about hedge fund analysts processing gigabytes of data and game developers creating playable experiences in hours. But here's the intriguing part. The feedback isn't universally positive. While some features are being hailed as revolutionary, others are being called work in progress or even behind the competition. So today we're breaking down exactly what real users are saying, feature by feature, then exploring the mind-blowing real-world use cases already emerging. Trust me, some of these examples will completely shift how you think about AI capabilities. Early user feedback, the unfiltered truth, deep search, the real-time data game changer. Let's start with Grok4's most praised feature, deep search. Amanda Caswell from Tom's Guide gave this a strong approval calling the built-in real-time web search integration a genuine differentiator. What makes her feedback valuable is the practical convenience factor. Think about it. How many times have you needed to open a browser while chatting with an AI to verify current information? Caswell points out that Grok4 eliminates this friction by pulling live data directly from the web, especially from X and Twitter, right into your conversation. For power users needing fresh, contextually relevant information, this isn't just nice to have, it's becoming essential. Early adopters are already using this to stay ahead of trending topics and breaking news without leaving their AI chat interface. It's like having a research assistant that never sleeps and always has the latest information. Grok4 Here's where things get really interesting. User Vicines on Hacker News tested Grok4 Heavy's multi-age and was blown away by the results. We're talking about pushing humanity's last exam accuracy above 50%, a massive leap forward. Vecines said these are huge improvements over single-agent models, predicting that Grok4 Heavy should become a very popular daily driver for complex problems. This suggests we're not just seeing incremental improvements, we're potentially witnessing a fundamental shift in how AI systems approach difficult reasoning tasks. The multi-agent collaboration isn't just marketing speak, it's delivering measurable improvements in answer quality that experts are taking seriously. If you're finding this video valuable, please hit subscribe. It supports the channel and helps us bring you detailed analysis of every major AI release so you stay informed in this rapidly evolving space. Grok Code. Great logic, frustrating integration. Here's where feedback gets mixed. User the Shrike 79 on Hacker News shared their code review experience and their feedback perfectly captures the current state of AI coding tools. On the positive side, they found Grok's coding feedback not just decent, but more actionable than Google Gemini 2.5 Pro's output. The AI consistently pinpointed issues with specific example fixes. That's practical value developers need. But here's the frustrating part. The lack of native CLI or IDE integration makes the experience cumbersome. While competitors like Claude offer seamless development environment integration, Grok4 users are still copying and pasting code in browsers. The eWeek Labs review echoed this, noting that while Grok4 can generate functional code for complex purposes, including game development, outputs frequently need refinements and careful human oversight. The message is clear. The intelligence is there, but the tooling ecosystem needs work. Context. Window. Already feeling limited. This feedback surprised me. DataCamp's team tested Grok4's 256,000 token context window and found it already feels behind state-of-the-art competitors. The reality check. The public app caps at 128k tokens, and even the 256k API limit feels constraining when rivals like Gemini offer up to 1 million tokens. For users working with extensive code bases or massive document analysis, this forces careful context management and chunking strategies. What seemed impressive six months ago is already becoming a limiting factor for power users pushing boundaries. 
Vision capabilities, the honest assessment. Let's talk about perhaps the most critical feedback, Grok 4's multimodal vision capabilities. The DataCamp team called it weak, essentially work in progress. Their real-world test was telling. They fed Grok 4 a 167-page PDF with complex graphs and charts. The AI stopped analyzing after just 25 seconds, provided incorrect page numbers, and even confused a Sankey diagram for a pie chart. That's not just disappointing, it's practically unusable for serious document analysis. The reviewer's conclusion was brutally honest. It's fair to say that Grok 4 is a text-only model at the moment. Even Elon Musk acknowledged that image comprehension isn't advanced yet. Voice Mode 2.0 Improved but not leading voice capabilities received mixed reviews highlighting both progress and persistent limitations. User R. Pozariki J noted that speech quality had noticeably improved and praised the new Eve voice for being richly emotional and natural sounding. But here's the reality. While improvements are genuine, ChatGPT and Gemini still way surpass it in both speech recognition accuracy and synthesis quality. It's meaningful progress that still leaves you in second place. Real-world use cases, where Grok 4 shines. Tool integration, native performance advantage. Here's where Grok 4 starts to differentiate itself in practical applications. Julian Horsey from Geeky Gadgets highlighted something crucial. Grok 4's native tool training approach is delivering measurable performance improvements. The numbers are compelling. A tool-integrated Grok 4 variant achieved nearly 40% higher accuracy on complex problem sets. We're talking about jumping from 26.9% to 41% on humanity's last exam when tools are enabled. These tools aren't afterthoughts. They're deeply integrated into the model's training, making reasoning more reliable and exact. Early adopters are seeing this translate into more trustworthy results when Grok 4 invokes external calculators, code execution environments, or specialized solvers. Financial research, processing massive data sets. Let's talk about a use case that's already changing how financial professionals work. Quant X Capital, a quantitative hedge fund, has been leveraging Grok 4's combination of 256K context window and deep search to process enormous financial data sets. Here's what's remarkable. They're ingesting two to three gigabytes of SEC filings in a single chat session. Tasks that previously took analysts days are now being completed in minutes. But it's not just about speed. Grok 4 is surfacing previously unmodeled risks that human analysts missed. We're not just talking about automation of existing processes. We're talking about AI systems identifying blind spots in human analysis. Scientific research. Accelerating discovery. The application at CRISPR Lab Berlin demonstrates another compelling use case. Scientists are using Grok 4 to streamline gene editing research by processing vast amounts of biomedical literature. The AI isn't just summarizing papers, it's outputting key findings as structured JSON data that integrates directly into their experimental workflows. This represents a fundamental shift in how research teams operate. Instead of spending weeks manually reviewing literature, they're getting AI-curated insights that accelerate their experimental cycles. Business simulation. Strategic decision-making. Here's a use case that showcases Grok 4's reasoning capabilities. The vending bench simulation. Bijin Jose from Indian Express reported that Grok 4 achieved a simulated net worth of about $4,700 in a complex business scenario, dramatically outperforming both AI competitors and human participants. To put this in perspective, OpenAI's GPT 3.5 managed around $1,800, and human test takers averaged about $840. This isn't just about following rules. The simulation requires long-term strategic thinking, dynamic adaptation, and complex decision-making across multiple business dimensions. Game development. Rapid prototyping revolution. Perhaps one of the most visually impressive demonstrations came from XAI's own team. An engineer prompted Grok 4 to build a basic first-person shooter game, and the AI delivered a playable FPS within approximately four hours. Here's what's remarkable. Grok 4 didn't just write code. It auto-generated the game's logic sourced appropriate textures and 3D models, and handled complex integration between different game systems, all from plain English instructions. While the result wasn't AAA quality, it represented a functional game that would normally require significant coding expertise and asset creation time. Content creation beyond text generation. The creative applications extend far beyond game development. Early adopters are using Grok 4 for interactive storytelling, complex visualizations, and even generating realistic imagery for specific scenarios. 
One demonstration showed the AI producing a scientifically accurate visualization of colliding black holes. Content creators are finding that Grok 4 excels at taking high-level creative direction and translating it into detailed, multifaceted outputs that would traditionally require teams of specialists. So what's the real story with Grok 4? The feedback reveals a model that's genuinely innovative in specific areas while struggling with others. The real-time search integration and multi-agent reasoning are getting genuine praise from power users. The native tool integration is delivering measurable performance improvements. But the vision capabilities need significant work. The context window is already feeling limited. And the developer tooling ecosystem lags behind competitors. It's not a perfect AI system, but it's a system with unique strengths enabling new types of applications. The real-world use cases we've explored, from financial analysis to scientific research to creative development, suggests that Grok 4's impact will be measured not just in benchmark scores, but in how it changes the way professionals approach complex multifaceted problems. What do you think? Are you planning to try Grok 4 for any specific use cases? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this analysis valuable, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss our latest AI breakdowns. We're constantly testing and reviewing the newest AI tools to give you the unbiased truth behind the hype. Until next time, Keep questioning the marketing claims and focusing on what actually works.